Here are five games releasing this April that are on the top of my list. First, I have Meet Your Maker. Now, this game honestly reminds me of the Ben 10 game that was on Cartoon Network's website long ago, but this one is a first-person combat game. You can create maze-like outposts with a variety of blocks, traps, and guards, or you can even decide to raid other created outposts with loadouts that cater to your style, depending on the abilities, the equipment, or even just the suits that you go in with each try. Learn from each win and defeat and gather more gen mat for your arsenal. Meet Your Maker released on April 4th for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox players, and I've already gotten to play this one a little bit, and it's actually worth a try, so I highly recommend it. Next on my list is the RPG-style game, Stray Blade. This game looks really interesting, and as you explore Acre, a powerful but forgotten land that you must journey through. Across the valley, you'll discover the history of Acre and fight bosses, and with each victory changes the world and the environment around you. This game really caught my attention and I'm really looking forward to getting it started on April 20th and it will be available for PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series consoles. Next up is Dead Island 2. Now this is a game I'm really excited to try after playing the first one many years ago. This game looks action packed and brutal as you travel through Los Angeles that has been infested with zombies. And a cool little detail, you can even join friends in their co-op experience with up to 3 players. You can join the fight starting April 21st on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. This next game is one that I actually didn't really expect it to pique my interest too much, but after seeing more gameplay and news about it, it's really grown on me. And that game is Minecraft Legends. This game looks really neat, and I love this take on strategy in the Minecraft universe where you'll gather and form alliances against the rising piglins to defend the overworld. I think a very unique aspect though coming to Minecraft Legends will be its co-op and competitive features. Their competitive take will put two teams of four against each other to take out each other's supplies and settlements. What's unique is that no match will be entirely the same as each arena generated will have different layouts, so it does require different approaches and different strategies for each game, which could make for some really fun and competitive gameplay online. Minecraft Legends will be available to play starting April 18th for PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch, and those with Xbox Game Pass will get day one access to download it as well. And finally, this game is easily the game that I'm most excited for for this month, possibly even the year, is Star Wars Jedi Survivor. The graphics look great and the gameplay just looks so fantastic with combat similar to its predecessor, but with new ways and abilities to approach each fight. I know being such a huge fan of Star Wars and Fallen Order, I'm just so ready to get reunited with some of these characters, the worlds, and just experience this game. The boss fights even look incredible, so I'm really excited. Jedi Survivor will be releasing towards the end of this month on April 28th for PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series consoles. Those are the five games that I'm really looking forward to for this month, and there are some other great releases coming out that I didn't get to mention in this video, but stay tuned for more content about upcoming releases that I will be posting on other medias as well. What games are you looking forward to this month?